everyone my name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel and today I'm going to show you how to get all the information from your Apple Watch including battery cycle count, serial number, watchOS version and many other stuff. And uh, today we are going to use in this video an Apple Watch Series 3 42mm LTE. This is an iCloud one and as you can see uh, the screen is just without a pulsator and I'm going to also test it on my uh, personal watch, which is an Apple Watch Series 3, uh, 42 millimeters GPS. So this is a very cool feature, you can try. And of course, you need to connect your Apple Watch to your computer using an iBus or the original Apple Watch connector. And you need to go to the downside of your Apple Watch to remove the cap on the port. In order to connect uh, the watch to the computer, uh, you need a uh, tweezers to remove the cap. You can return the cap after you finish your work and as you can see this is how the port it looks like on the series 2 and series 3 with five pins and it's a little bit different on the series 7000 and series 1 uh, i guess the series 1 and series 7000 had has a six pins uh, but the series 2 and series 3 has only five okay now let's connect our watch using the ibus series 2 now i didn't try this on a original connector but already messaged a couple of friends who has the original one and they confirm that is uh, that is working and also there is a new iBus for uh, series 4 and series 5 that is available for buy-in and I'm going to order mine very soon uh, and I'll put the link for it in the description down below it's also supported for this program to check all the information about your Apple Watch and also forgot to mention that I'm using today the 3 tools program for those who don't know what it is it's basically an all-in-one tool for all iOS devices and I'll also leave a downloadable link in the description down below. Now we've connected the watch. Also this rubber uh, that I'm using is to hold the watch and the connector together. And as you can see, this is the all the information about my Apple Watch Series 3 LTE. As you can see, you cannot activate the Apple Watch because you need to pair it. And the details of the battery life uh, cannot be also shown because it requires an iOS. Uh, and in my case, the Apple Watch has the watchOS. And as you can see, there's a lot of information. Uh, now that I have the LTE version, you can see the IMEE and the serial number and also uh, the uh, battery life, as you can see, the charge time, uh, the 100%. Uh, in my case, in my watch is 100% uh, battery life and the, the ICCID and the serial number. And this is all the information uh, that has the Apple Watch uh, Series 3 LTE. And now I'm going to connect my personal watch, which is the Apple Watch Series 3 uh, GPS version. Now this is a little bit different from the LTE version because it's already been paired with my iPhone and the LTE version is not, it's just only on the activation, not paired with any iPhone. And let me just connect my watch. And of course, this will help a lot of uh, Apple Watch owners who wants to know the battery cycle count or the watchOS version without, with pairing or without uh, pairing the watch. Uh, of course, it's very helpful for a lot of stuff. Even if you don't have the IPSW for the watch, you can still use it uh, as I do because there's a lot of people who bought uh, the uh, original connector or the iBus only for restoring the watch. But now you can do this also, okay. Uh, I already trusted my uh, watch. As you can see, this is a password on my watch. And here we go. We don't have an IME because I have the GPS version. And as you can see, I got the battery life 93% with a 100 cycle count only. The charge time is 100 times. And you can see also the serial number, the sales region, the product type. And I'm going to show you also the details of the battery. Uh, you can see the details of the battery because I have a newer version of the watch OS, which is the 6.2.5. Uh, the LTE had a iOS 5 or 4. That's why I couldn't see the, the battery details. <laughs> and you cannot jailbreak your Apple Watch. That was my mistake, sorry. And also you can see the ECC ID and the verification information that I couldn't see on the LTE version because of the watch OS. And this is all the iDevice information. You can see the Wi-Fi address, the Bluetooth address, and all other stuff so on and so on so i guess that's it for this short video thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day